This is Kingdom Salmon TV. You are welcome. On this channel, we will share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Knocking. Knocking talks about obtaining help from men through the ministry of mercy and favor. We already looked at Matthew 7 from verse 7 to 8. The Bible says, knock and it shall be open to you. You are not the one who will open it. It shall be open to you. There are doors that need to be opened, but not by you directly. They must be open for you. The most important thing is that they are open so that you will enter. At such points, Playing around with a key, around a door that you don't have authority over, will only waste your time. What you need to do is to knock. The Bible says in verse 8, For everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is where the ministry of mercy and favor comes. There are doors you need opened by all means, but you may not have the spiritual capacity. You don't have the key. But there are people that have the key. What you need to do is to master the art of knocking. Those who can knock will have many doors open that is not credited to their personal efforts. There are people behind at the other side of that door. They have access to it. All you need to do is to learn how to knock. Is someone learning? 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 12. 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 12. Furthermore, he said, Paul was speaking now, giving them a story. I just picked a verse that I found interesting there. He says, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, it says, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. Who opened the door for him? The Lord. The door was open, but he never mentions using a key to open that door. He says it was open unto me. In fact, one last scripture, Revelations 3 and verse 20. Very popular scripture, Revelations 3, 20. Behold, I stand. Who is speaking here? Jesus, standing at the door of your heart and knock. Because even though he's the creator of the ends of the earth, when he created man, he made you a free moral agent. That even though he is God, it becomes scripturally incorrect for him to budge into your life. And he's patient enough. If God knocks, you must learn how to knock. There are certain doors that you will need to hide your pride and knock this year. There are doors of grace, doors of power, because it is only those who knock that will have that door open. Is someone learning not every door every door may respond to keys but you may not have the privilege of access to every key yet you need every door that should be open open so you must know how to knock to knock requires patience to knock requires persistence is someone learning now let's go to Luke 11 and finish up the scripture that we started now God is giving someone wisdom already. Matthew chapter, I mean Luke chapter 11 from verse 7. Now, remember our story? Where the guy began to knock and say, please help me with three loaves of bread. I want to give my friend. And the man said, trouble me not. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. Are you seeing that that door was positively closed for the man and his children? But with respect to the one who needs help, that door needs to be opened. He said, I cannot rise and give thee. What did the man do? I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, the word importunity is the word persistence. He said he will rise and give him as many. He asked for three, but he said you can even get more by knocking. Your intention was to get three loaf, but knocking is so powerful it can give you more. Knocking does not only give you a job, it can create a destiny for you. Is someone learning? Knock to everyone that knocks. Matthew 7, 7 and 8, when you read Amplified, it says, ask and keep asking. Seek and keep seeking. It says, knock and keep knocking and the door will be open unto you. 
Is someone learning? Knocking talks of obtaining help from men. Listen, as far as the opening of doors are concerned, you will need the ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor. The ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor. There are many doors you will encounter in your life and your destiny that you may not have the key, yet that door needs to be opened. You will have to knock. If I come to your office, for instance, I will have to knock at the door and then you come and open. Is that true? When you open, it is your opening that gives me access. That means I must pray for something to happen to your heart for that door to be opened. The friend here said, I know you are my friend, but I'm sorry. Right now, I'm in bed with my children. My apologies go away. And the man kept. May God put it in the heart of someone this year to rise up and see to it that every closed door is open over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You heard some of the testimonies here. Let me tell you, I have taught you and I will keep teaching you till it enters your spirit that all blessings come from God through man to man. To man. Believe me, man can be used by God to open doors. Doors, very strange doors of opportunity. May that be your testimony. Amen. Are you ready for number three? How do we open closed doors? The third is by supernatural power. The third way doors are open is by the ministry of warfare and power. The supernatural power of God. Because there are doors, especially demonic doors, that will not open except and unless force is engaged. Acts chapter 6 from verse 25. Acts chapter 6 and verse 25. Give it to us please. Acts 6, 25. Acts 16, my apologies, 16, 25. Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang unto God and the prisoners heard them. There were many prisoners in that prison. Some were interested in going out. Others were interested in remaining there. Paul and Silas said, no way, we will not remain here. Verse 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake in a prison. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. A key cannot do this one. There are, a key can quietly open the door. But when it is supernatural power, both the door, the foundation of the house must know that it is God coming. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to someone, it is not only keys that will open some doors. The great power of God is about to swing open ancient doors. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give us that scripture. So that the foundations of the prison were take, were shaken. When it is the power of God, the doors do not open one by one. He said, and all doors were open. No key, but power. Don't you think keys are the only ways doors are open? When the power of God comes, it may not be the time of the stirring of the water, but you will still say stand up. You don't need to wait once per year. There is a supernatural dimension to opening doors. There are times when keys fail. There are times when the hearts of men fail. At that time, resort to the one who can send an earthquake from heaven to the earth. It's not only a door that he opens. The Bible says the foundations of the prison. And immediately, when it is God, it does not take time. Immediately, immediately, not later, not next week, not next month. Immediately, hold on please. Please, ladies and gentlemen, think about this. I watch this. Sometimes, 
in my own boring way my apologies I just you know sometimes I'm watching videos I like to watch videos of demolitions of houses large structures and then sometimes these these you know the 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 machines that squeeze metals and just break them and I I have never been I get so amazed that a car will be put in that machine and in less than one minute it will squeeze it like a rack I have seen many of you here construction engineers and you know that it can take three years five years ten years 30 years to build a skyscraper and in a moment using explosives you watch it come down everybody watch 9-11 in a moment it came down when it is God he has no time to come key by key the entire foundation must go down my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by we have seen what happens when doors are open a key can only open one door at a time listen if there are ten doors you will have to go and open one there are doors that you have to turn them three times and superior security doors like we have today they use iris fingerprints all kinds of things it will take a while many of you here are into security and logistics you don't if, if you are if you are you go to the bulk room of a bank for instance you are not going to turn a key two times for it to be open no for some of you your loved ones found the key but the time it would take for that key to work they died trying to open that door it was a right key but all the things to engage with respect to time notice the character of the power of God they prayed and they sang God never called the jailer God never asked the strength of the foundation who designed it that is none of his business they prayed and they sang and God said clear the way in listen listen in Acts chapter 12 you see when Peter was bound hand and feet it was an angel that was sent there was no earthquake prayers was made without ceasing and an angel came he opened the doors and they went out but when God came Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand? Who can stand against the King? No one can. And no one will. Hear me. Let me speak to someone. This year, your family is about to experience something who have been bound I'm speaking prophetically age long captivities that have tied people down in the name of Jesus the mighty warrior the terrible one will arise as a warrior that he is and the foundations of many families will be rattled everything that has not been planted by God must give way All doors all doors when it is God it must insist that all doors open all doors this is not a year to celebrate some doors and leave others all doors all doors mention some of the doors that must open thank God for the ones that opened last year all doors all doors someone is prophesying for one minute all doors all doors. Shapre kete pele kete pakosh kata brande kete balash. All doors by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, a scripture just came to my spirit. I believe that should be Judges 16 and verse 3. Samson. 
although it was not a very nice story unfortunately but the bible says samson removed the door of the gate look for it for us yes at me he says he laid at midnight the philistines were gathering round. he said i will not only you want to fight me i will show you the one who has strengthened me i will not only open the, i will remove the door the bible says he removed the doors of the gate of the city and climbed a hill and kept it and sat there now you are ready to pray psalm 24 verse 7 psalm 24 verse 7 lift up your heads not give me a key this situation is not just about a key not where is my destiny helper lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors that the king of glory hear me hear me please look up let me tell you what this means there are doors that you try to enter and you try to use a key ordinarily it should open but because there is a spirit behind it even when you are using a key it does not open there are times that you knock and men should help you and because there is a spirit their hearts are hardened like pharaoh and they will not open the door to the job the door to that opportunity do you know what god does he says move let me be the one to enter because you see question when god comes as a savior he knocks but when he comes as a warrior he breaks understand this there is Jesus the Savior who will knock at the door of your heart gently but when he stands before obstacles I sense the power of God so strong in this place now lift up your heads ancient gates ancient gates ancient doors lift up your heads ancient doors the king of glory the king of glory the king of glory hallelujah listen we're about to pray pay attention now please look up so I have taught you that there are three biblical ways to open closed doors. Never forget this for the rest of your life. Number one is by the application of kingdom principles, keys. Many doors will already be opened by the application of keys. There are times that you may not need keys, but you need people who are the other side of the door. The ministry of men, the ministry of mercy and favor. But let me tell you the truth most of the doors that represent defining moments in the lives of men are not an issue of key or men they are issues of spirits spirits nobody has ever risen from this family like that let 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 us be the protectors of this covenant that anybody that must rise from this family must serve this idol and if you now come and say you will serve the living god that ah in the name of jesus may the mighty warrior arise 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 in power arise arise in grace arise arise in glory hallelujah now please show me the design of the prophetic word can you display the design the cover design you will tell me of these three which one has opened the door that you are about to see then i will share with you the vision that led to this prophetic word and we'll pray can you find the design just the cover design for this if you can find it put it for us please I was praying and preparing as I would always do to receive a prophetic word. Please pay attention now. 
and saw this angel. I was Jesus. caught up in the spirit and I had um, a vision. And in this vision, one time in London, I, I was had like a, you know, me a, a dog, a giant key, dog, just to represent the mysteries of the kingdom. So they gave me as a gift. You know, these Europeans value a lot of these things. We don't value them in Nigeria. Once it doesn't bring money directly, we don't care. <laughs> but they gave me this bunch of very old keys. I think they used maybe for castles or something. So they made it and gave me as a memorial to just know that, you know, custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. So I have it somewhere. I just, I just keep it there. And, um, and so I saw a key like that and it opened the door. Then the second time, I did not see a key again. All I had was boom, like the door was hit and I just saw light. Then I saw the word open doors. That's how I knew that God was speaking to us this year, that it will be the year of open doors. Let me tell you, if you have, if you have never seen a prophetic word come to pass, let this be the year you see it come to pass in your life. Hallelujah. When I called our people to design for the prophetic word, I insisted that certain things be captured in that design to reflect the vision that I saw. The key word for these open doors is all doors open. Not just open doors, all doors, all doors, all doors. What does this mean? Let me tie this up now so that we'll pray. Listen carefully now. You may sit for a moment so that when you rise next, we rise to pray. When you stand in front of a closed door, I said, when you stand in front of a closed door, the first thing you need is discernment. When you stand in front of a closed door, the first thing you need is not action. The first thing you need is discernment. Is this door closed? for preservation closed to add value or is this a demonic door that is an impedance a hindrance to my progress it will guide you to be able to know what tool to use if the door was locked with keys then what you need will be keys to open it if there are men at the other side of the door then you will need to master the art of knocking but if there are spirit entities and covenants that have stood at the back of that door, you see, if you open a door with a key, it can be closed again. But when a door is broken, your children and your children's children can pass. There are many people, listen, if in a family of 20 or 30 people, one person maneuvers his way and forces that door to open and it closes behind him, you did not do much. He said, as for me, and my house the blessing will always be for you and your house hallelujah as for me and my house please help those under the anointing it's for me and my house it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders in Israel it is not just one person I and everybody when I was praying in the, my pre preparing, receiving this prophetic word for my own life, I prayed for every one of you in the spirit. You see, can you see two doors open and you can see the Holy Spirit as a sign of the supernatural power of God. Are you seeing that it was so open that it's not only one person that passed? I'm not an artist, but I, I know when you see some things, you force it to be reflected there. It is not only one person. Question. When that demonic door called the Red Sea opened, how many people passed? Talk to me, please. How many people passed? There was not one covenant person who was left. The way the Red Sea opened should tell you it was a door, not a river. Rivers move, but this one opened heater and teeter on dry ground. The Red Sea was a mystery in the spirit. That was why Pharaoh had confidence that these guys cannot pass. Remember, the Nile is Egypt is a place of wizardry. They had covenants with serpents, they had covenants with the elements of creation. Moses knew that no kind of architecture will move the water to where now. 
It was a Red Sea for a reason. But God said, no. That means there are many things you will see that look like doors. But if God helps you to look, you will find out they are not really doors. They are just spirits masquerading as doors. Open it hither and thither. When God opens a door, it is enough for everybody. Everybody in the prison was not praying. Everybody in the prison was not singing. But when God came, even those who provided they were in the vicinity, that means there are some of your family members, they may not even be born again. But when my God, I don't know about your own God, but when my God arises and shows up this year, there are doors that will open that your children's children will eat from. As many as are far off in the name of Jesus Christ all doors including the one that is not your business provided it came under the covering of your prayer all doors all doors what is your business with your neighbors rising all doors all doors all doors financial doors there are people who have struggled in ministry i'm saying this prophetically you have done everything with the integrity of heart and it looks like those doors are not opening help them i decree and declare by the mantle that came with this prophetic word in the name of jesus strange doors will begin to open for you Hear me, there are businesses that lost money last year, lost opportunity last year. You are saying, God, I do not even know how to start. You don't need one or two doors. The situation you are in now, even if two doors open, it may not be enough. In the name of Jesus, let the all door anointing, the all door anointing, the all door anointing, let it rest upon you. Please do not be careless with prophetic words this year. Not everybody is joking and playing games. There are words that come from the bowel of prayer and contact with the Spirit. All doors. All doors. Using all your money to treat your health because the devil wants to kill you. Don't keep quiet and die as if you are not a believer. This door of health, you must open up this year. Yeah. Hear me? This is a year you should not listen to all that nonsense and say it has always been like that. There is power to change it. Yeah. It has always been like that. That if you do not have a key, prison doors don't open. Except that when God comes, he rewrites rules again. Hallelujah. All doors. All doors. This is what God has said. And we believe. Now watch this. It means therefore that in this year 2023. God is going to be principally dealing with us across three areas. One. Access to the keys of the kingdom. He's going to be teaching us. To know how to access the keys of the kingdom. According to Matthew 13 and verse 11. It says it has been given unto you to know the kingdom. The mysteries of heaven. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 16 to 19. Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus. And he cried unto God. That he said I cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayer 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him reading to 19 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened it says that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints verse 19 it says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe to us word who believe to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power so all through this year every koinonia service will be a feast of light revelation and mysteries coming to empower you by the spirit number two favor 
this year God is going to be granting us access to understand the mysteries of favor seeing then that knocking will require a man at the other side of the door to open it revelations 3 9 please revelations 3 9 you need to understand the mysteries that control favor never let anybody downplay the place of favor 3 9 revelations behold it says um okay give us verse 8 my apologies 3 8 3 8 i know thy works he said behold i have said before thee so there are times that an open door can be set before you your assignment is to walk into it because you have received help he said having obtained help from the lord i continue unto this day i have set before you an open door no man because it was not a man that opened it a man cannot shut it i have said before you there are times that the door is closed he gives you keys to open but there are times he can set before you an open door by the help of god hallelujah and then of course number three this year god is going to be teaching our hands to war seeing then that there is a dimension of warfare and power give us psalm 144 and verse 1 that god is able to teach our hands to war and even our fingers to fight blessed be the lord my strength which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, he says, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. There are words that are coming. You must gain mastery on how to war a good warfare in the spirit. Because there are doors that will never open except by engaging the power of God. Psalm 66 and verse 3, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto you. Can I tell you the truth? There are certain things about your business, your life, your home, your children. It is going to take the ministry of warfare and power. Hallelujah. I prayed for a young man one time, very, you know, like a, I think a teenager or so. And this gentleman said, whenever it's time for exams, very young boy, intelligent, even talking with him, you will know that this is a bright boy. But you see the results of that boy is not something that glorifies God at all. The failure is too bad. And the boy said, every time he sits down, um, he just goes blank during exams. And until he writes nonsense or nothing at all, he will leave that place and start remembering everything that child does not need counseling what that child needs is power are we together for many of us hear me there are many doors even spiritual doors doors of hearing doors of seeing that have been closed over your life channels of my spirit open up I am with the, the Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let me call on the Open up. The channels of my spirit. Open up. I am with the Father. Open up. open up my hearing open up you are a door see listen hear me you can be standing close to the helper of your destiny and yet not know that between you and him is a door and be wondering why you are so close and yet nothing reaches you don't forget Luke 11 I am close to you, just a door difference, but it's already late, the door is shut. I cannot give you. There are many of you who have been so close to people that in a moment can change your life. Sincerely speaking, 
they discuss the rising of others in your presence and say um, I will remember I will do something about your issue and yet you see God using them to lift others and you are there just because you are looking at a man does not mean there is no door doors can be invisible invisible does not mean unreal invisible just means beyond the scope of your optical eyes in fact most doors are invisible hallelujah most doors are invisible I'm just seeing what looks like a coffin and I'm seeing like a dead corpse coming back to life. This is what I'm seeing. There is an anointing that is bringing resurrection to many families that many things that have been buried down this is what i'm seeing in the spirit everything that has died that should come back to life your joy your peace your prosperity i command that it jacks back to life now i command that it jacks back to life now hear me Please listen to me help that lady please I want you to listen we are, we are going to pray some serious prayer now that's why I didn't take so much time to teach every city you see has doors just because you are in the city does not mean you are in there already please hear me preachers hear me business people hear me you can be in Abuja for 10 years and in the spirit you are not yet there that's why everything that is in that city does not answer to you why do you think there was a triumphant entry with Jesus what was the significance he said blessed is he that comes was he not already there many of you who have been around northern states when you are entering a northern state there are usually like gates they are not closed but you'll be mistaken to say they are not closed those things are not just architectural constructions no a city can reject you and you will know it because you are around what should bless you and it will never bless you please hear me the same way the Bible says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and yet you are on earth here and the Bible says it's a spiritual reality many of you physically you are in a place of abundance but in the realm of the spirit you are in the wilderness somewhere that's why it does not matter even if someone gives you 10 million by that mystery of closed doors something must happen for that money to vanish you may not be careless but what is happening Close doors. Close doors. How do I know that my doors are closed? Because there is no remembrance to bless you. There are many people like that. Every time it is time to bless and live, they are always forgotten. Elohim Madonai shared with you my story many years ago I was praying from my little room and then my ceiling disappears and then I see this object this creature looking like a dragon kind of bulgy eyes gigantic eyes the size of a man's head will be one of the eye of that creature 
and it had a tail that was alive having its own life independent of the creature with red fiery eyes and he was looking at me and said so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was it hear me ladies and gentlemen people don't just remember you to bless you there are mysteries that you engage frowning your face and saying this person knows me and he has forgotten about me you are wasting your time you need to access by grace the keys there are many people who are in ministry under a close heaven in business under a close heaven close everything and you can be well-meaning and sincere and find out that gates don't open there are regions that have gates professions have gates anointings have gates that's why a man can pray for you but you have not done what opened the gate or the door that leads to his anointing you may even fall down and stand up the truth is nothing will work when it was time for Isaac to bless his sons he needed something that opens the gates of his anointing he said go and make me venison not anyone such as my soul loves there are rules for that flow of power the year of open doors the year of open doors opportunities unhindered now hear me I decided to just give a charge and not take time to teach we have a whole year to do that because we're getting into a serious prayer session now and please do not let the devil fool you this prayer is what will activate and release these anointings hallelujah please look up every day has a door 12 noon or 12 midnight is not what opens a day no sir no just because your clock tells you 11 59 p.m then the next minute you just say good morning physically bar but in the realm of the spirit you will be surprised many people are still in next year last year last month there is no forward movement i wish what i were telling you were a lie i would not come here and play games to such an intelligent people hallelujah it is not the passage of time that introduces next days remember doors midwife seasons doors midwife realms doors midwife faces and levels in life you can be at the same level because a door that should open has not been opened hallelujah praise the name of the Lord when it was time for Lazarus to come forth Jesus said roll the stone that door that has sealed his resurrection because if the door does not open his resurrection will be useless open it and when they roll the stone away he said Lazarus now you come forth and then he said lose him and let him go I know you have business ideas but is the door open just because you bought a shop or a store or a mall does not mean you are in business there are doors why do you think they call certain people and even spirits gatekeepers what are they keeping before Jesus started his ministry Satan took him to a mountain and said listen you know better than I do look at the glories of the world that means the glories of the world were not controlled by what happened there the spirit that was in the madman in Gadara was what controlled the economy of the Gadarenes. The moment something happened to that man, the business in Gadara died immediately. There are people who are rising, it's not what they are selling. There has been doors that were opened through covenants in the spirit. Hallelujah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors listen to these stubborn gates and doors that the king of glory shall come in go to verse 8 he says who is this king of glory so don't think the doors will just open because you said it is a prophetic word even for Jesus they ask a question who do you think you are ah, but I love the answer 
There is no discussion there. Go back to verse 8. The Lord strong, not the Lord weak. If it is the Lord strong, then it must be the believer strong. If it is the Lord mighty, then it must be the believer mighty. If the Lord is mighty even in battle, then the believer will be in battle too. Our assignment in warfare, I have taught you, is to establish that which is finished. Our assignment in warfare is not to create a battle and fight with physical strength. Our warfare in this kingdom has to do with establishing that which is finished. And in the next few minutes, you are not going to be praying for someone else yet. This destiny, you are going to flog it out this first service. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Prophesy to your destiny. We really appreciate you for watching our videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.